Okay, now we are going to learn how to use pointers, how to use a pointer with an array. So here in this example, I already declared an array that contain a name called John, that contain four characters. So here I'm going to display, I'm going to print out this array using a pointer. So here the data type is character, we have to use a pointer character to represent, to display this character array. So here I display I declare a point, a character pointer, PTR. PTR is a pointer that represents an address of a character. Okay, now I initialize the pointer with an address, so PTR equal to name. Okay, what really happens while executing this statement? The base address of the array name is assigned to the pointer. That means now the pointer contain the address of the first element. So it contains the address of value j. So now the pointer points to the first element in that array. So now I'm going to print out using a while loop. So here I'm going to print it like this, print off. Here we are going to print each character, so use percentage %c and now we have to access each value using the pointer. So for accessing each value you have to use the star notation and specify the pointer name. Okay, now you can increment the pointer by 1. So if you increment the pointer by 1, now the pointer PTR point to the first value first location, first memory location of the character array. If you increment the value of pointer by 1, now it's going to point to the next element. If you again increment the value by 1, again it's going to the third element. Okay, so here I'm going to increment the value of pointer by 1, ptr++. Now here I'm going to put the condition, ptr star ptr while star ptr, that means the value of pointer not equal to last character of the string which is slash zero. Okay, you have to specify it in single quotes because it's a character. Okay, that's it. Now we can check the program. Compile the program. Compilation is success. Now execute the program. We got the output. This is how we using a pointer with a string or character array. Please go to the next video to learn more about strings in C programming.